Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome, my name is Rianne. And for today's video, we're gonna be looking at some of my travel favorites. Um, some of these things are new to me that I've discovered recently and other things are kind of tried and true. I will never travel without. So if you would also like to be as prepared and um, minimally packed as me, then just keep watching. As always, everything I am showing you will be linked and listed in the description box. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it. And if I have missed anything, you have any questions, I will meet you in the comments and try my best to um, give you a recommendation. I do have a few categories here. So I'm gonna start with kind of like luggage, travel bags, uh, stuff like that, the bigger items. You know, there's no way I'm gonna fit it in the shot, so I will add in some cutaways, but the luggage that I love to travel with is from OGO. I think they are like originally a golf brand. I have the all black OGO. I can't remember what size it is, but I will put it in the description box. The reason I love this is because um, it's like several years old now. It's traveled really well. And for the size and how compact it is, I can fit so much in. Like it's incredibly usable space. So OGO is definitely one I recommend if you travel a lot, if you want something that's gonna last and that is gonna serve you well. I've never had any problems with any of their stuff and um, we've had bags from them for years and years. So definitely check out OGO. Okay, as, <laughs> as far as like a small hard shell roll on, I have this one from Raiden. Now you can see it is it's beat up, okay? I do still really like this one. I still travel with it a lot. The scratches are gonna show, so there's really no way you can avoid that. But I do like that it is more of a hard shell, so I know that I can have a laptop in there or whatever, and it's not gonna get um, damaged in any way. These ones do have a phone charger in them. They also have like a tracking thing, so you can find your luggage on your phone. The only thing I will say is on this older style is to take the battery out, which you sometimes do need to do for TSA. You have to get into the lining of the bag. So you have to take your stuff out or push it aside, get into the lining. Whereas I think the new ones have like an ejectable, almost like a cassette battery that comes out. So I do think that these hard shell um, carry on roller luggage things are awesome. I love that they do have the battery charger in them, but I would just recommend going with one of the newer ones that you can just eject the battery from the outside versus digging in there. So mm. this next one is um, like packing cubes. Now you may already have some kind of like reusable bags around your home that you could use for this. So there's not necessarily any need to buy uh, new ones, but I think that these are super helpful for clothes at least and shoes. So I think I just picked these up on Amazon. My Amazon store is always linked um, in the description anyway. So this comes with like a shoe one. I think it came with like a little cosmetics pouch um, and then just a ton of different sized mesh um, cubes like this. So for me, I might do one with all tops, one with all jeans, one with like workout or loungewear, one with underwear. And so when I get to my destination, even if um, we're going to be traveling to several different places, I will still get my cubes out and unpack them so I can see everything. And the other thing is that it's nice when TSA do check your bag because it's kind of all organized and not a mess. For me, it's nice anyway, they might hate it. So sometimes if I'm flying, I will just take like a backpack or I might take um, the hard shell carry on as well as um, a bag. So two that I would recommend, uh, one is from Sans Beast. This is just a very large, well-made monster of a bag. You do have the shorter handle, you have the longer handle too if you want to put it over your shoulder. And then the inside is just, is vast. So I usually will put my iPad or laptop in the middle. Um, and then just all of my other essentials, water, uh, maybe a change of clothes, uh, passport, wallet, all of that different stuff in there. And it does have the one big zip compartment if you wanna keep uh, anything very valuable in there. I would say if you're gonna be like working um, while you're traveling, carrying a laptop, anything like that, this is a good option, purely because it's really easy to access everything. And then this is the other one. This is from, I think it's Cara, but it's got two A's on the end, um, Sport. So they do have one of these that is real leather. This is the vegan option. I talked about this before, but it's just so good. I pretty much always travel with it now. So it is like a little duffel. Um, you can also attach these straps to wear over the shoulder and you can attach straps to make it um, a backpack as well. Again, pretty compact, but it's all super usable space. So in the front, 
Oh, this is all the spare straps and bags and stuff that came with it. You have a little mesh pouch, you have mesh pockets on either inner of the um, opening. Another zip compartment here with like a clear panel. And then in the main opening, it is just huge. Um, it has two little mesh pouches here. You could put a small pair of shoes in there, whatever you want. And then in the back, this is where I would put um, an iPad or a laptop, and then you can just clip it secure. I had seen it online and I was kind of worried that it might be too small to make sense with all of those compartments, but it's, it's perfect. So um, both of those I would say are good options. If you're traveling, you want to bring a fair amount with you, but maybe not take a carry on. Um, the nice thing about this one, obviously, is you can put it on your back, shoulder, whatever. You're a little bit more limited with the tote. So we're almost covered there. The other thing I will do is bring a smaller handbag of some kind um, in my bag, usually packed with anything in it that I kind of need a place to keep. Um, and then I will take that out when we get there. So the one I used on my last trip, this is the tote that I designed with Samara. It's the Rianne mini tote. I'll have all the information on how you can get money off. I think my affiliate code is just Rianne. The reason I love this is because I made it, but also because it's super light. So when there's nothing in it, um, I think I had packed just some like random other essentials. Like I had um, a hat in there. I had like a mini tripod in there random stuff like that. And then I put it inside of this dust bag. And then when I got there, I packed it with all of my essentials. So it worked really well because I would wear this with like a really casual outfit, like leggings, trainers, um, jacket, but also when I wanted to go out, I felt like it was pretty nice as well. So um, that's my tote. This next <laughs> series of things is a little more random, but then after this, we're gonna do some of my travel makeup favorites too. So um, let's dive in. The first one, this is so weird. This um, was like a freebie with Skylar perfumes. Just a string tote. You obviously don't have to have a string one, but any kind of reusable tote, I would really recommend um, taking with you if you are traveling, um, if you're gonna go get groceries, if you're gonna go out shopping, you don't have to take a ton of plastic bags or buy bags when you get there. So whatever kind of light reusable tote you have, I would um, recommend bringing. There's also a um, Miyakoto one that I often bring because it's huge, but still very light. So reusable bag, you gotta have it. You've got to. Next, this is kind of along the lines of those packing cubes. These are stasher bags, so they are reusable. I think they're silicone. Usually I at least travel with one of these for my um, liquids. But then the last time I traveled, I packed mostly in stasher bags. So I used a big one to take all of my skincare and body wash, stuff like that. Um, I did have one for TSA. And then this one, I think I packed any of my, um, did I put makeup stuff in it or hair stuff? Maybe I can't remember. One. The other nice thing is that when you get there, um, if, you, if you're like self-catering or whatever and you have leftovers, you can empty your um, toiletries out, give it a rinse and keep your leftovers in there. So we love these. We use them in the kitchen. We use them to travel, um, makeup, keep one in your handbag. These things are amazing and they last maybe forever. Okay, staying along the lines of reusable. This is an obvious one, a water bottle. This is just a clean canteen one I've had for a really long time. Most airports now do have like a little filling station that you just put your bottle down on the little sensor and it will fill it up for you. The other thing is that whenever I travel, I'm so bad at staying hydrated. So this gives me like the best chance possible at actually staying well. So yeah, reusable water bottle, fill it every day, keep it in your bag, carry it with you um, and stay hydrated. And then to undo the hydration, you're gonna need a reusable coffee cup. Typically when we're at home, we just make coffee at home. But when we are traveling, we do end up buying coffee quite a lot. So we um, got these keep cups from a coffee shop in Bath. You can also get glass ones. Um, we got the plastic ones because it's what they had and also they're gonna be a bit lighter. So you're just gonna have to make your mind up on what works best for you, but it's just a reusable coffee cup. Um, a lot of places now will also give you like money off your order if you bring your own cup. So you're um, you know saving some money and the planet, reusable coffee cup. This cute little guy is not some kind of nintendo -y thing. It is my um, pill case. So this one is from Port and Polish. It's gonna be jingly because there's pills in it, but it has a nice big mirror in the top and then it goes, you know, Sunday to Saturday or you can change them out. These, um, the day 
flaps pop off and you can rearrange them <laughs> to suit you. Depending on how many medications or vitamins or whatever you might take, the compartments are fairly big. So for me, I can pack probably, I would only do two weeks in this. If I pushed it, I could probably fit um, three weeks worth in. Um, but I just like this because often my schedule is different when I'm traveling and so I don't have that kind of like daily normal reminder to take my medication so this way I can like look in the day see if I had taken that days and make sure I take it so for me at least super helpful. Okay these next two are from Samara as well this um this is actually the thing that started my love affair is the mini pouch. What I keep in here are little wipes I usually have little floss sachets and um, sometimes I've had perfume wipes in there too and I also have a little like credit card size mirror that was in a my couture kit so this is just like my little fix it pouch wet wipes you could put some tampons in there if you wanted to maybe probably fit it's got it all and then this next one is just like a different um size and this is a collaboration I did with sage which are an essential oil company so in here you have four of their um probably like their best selling oils Here's the thing, I don't really know if I believe that essential oils are gonna cure my life, but um, if I have a headache, a peppermint smell is quite soothing. If I can't sleep, I like to use a sleep one because they often have a lot of the same oils or scents in them that I now just associate with sleep time. So um, for jet lag and stuff, for me at least it's helpful because it just has that like sensory um, thing that makes me think that it's sleep time. There's also like stress relief, um and stuff like that but i just often find that having something nice smelling or something to remind me of sleep uh is is nice so i also think that would be a great gift idea for anyone you know who has like a love for essential oils or aromatherapy um because it's like a really cute little kit this next one is a really old disgusting lint roller um but it was from was it called flint lint can't remember i'll link it below um i do like this one because it's retractable but i wanted to ask you guys if you know of any good like reusable ones since obviously these do have the little um tear off pieces so if you know of a more eco-friendly lint roller let me know another one has to be a battery power pack for your phone my carry-on bag does have a charger in it but if i'm not taking that i will usually take this this one is just from mophie has all the cables inside i feel like my um my tolerance for a low battery is is much lower when i'm traveling because i think like oh my gosh i'm not gonna have maps i'm not gonna be able to contact people so i like to keep my my charge high mm. okay headphones earpods airpods earbuds things to help you hear sounds. Um, these are the original AirPods. I do really like them, but as soon as I get hot or my ears might get like sweaty, they slip out. So I don't know if I'm gonna try and get like little cases that go on them or if I'm gonna maybe think about getting the newer ones, but obviously some kind of headphone ear earbud things is gonna be nice when you travel. Uh, hopefully they fit your ears. This is a, just a must have for always, every day of your life, which is the Dr. Rogers Restore Healing Balm. Think of a more natural organic version of Vaseline. So the only ingredients in this are two types of castor oil and glycerin. I use this on lips, cuticles, I might slip my hair back with it, minor cuts, grazes, burns, under eyes, scratchy elbows. You can often take less products when you take one really great one like this. So um, this is always in my bag. Okay, and then the last little thing before we move on to makeup is this tiny dry shampoo from Kaya Naturals. They already have one of my favorite dry shampoos anyway. And now they made a teeny weeny, which is almost like a little pepper shaker for your dirty hair. This is probably not one that I would use the whole time I'm traveling, but to keep in your bag, uh, so you have like a really long flight you want to freshen up or um, maybe you're only going away for a couple of days then maybe I would use this but I would make sure to um, I think I can refill this for my other one I mean it's just a really small amount you know okay so let's um, relocate and I will show you some of my favorite makeup things okay so for makeup when I'm traveling I usually try and keep it quite simple I'm often not spending as much time getting ready day to day because I want to be more present in the moment doing the things that I went to do versus spending a long time on my makeup. So I actually, 
because obviously makeup beauty stuff is my job i get a lot of mini sizes or travel sizes of things so i keep this box with all of them in so that when i travel i can just pull from that box of minis because i want to keep it small so this last time i traveled this was the makeup bag that i took this is from the company i think it's pronounced base um it has the clear panels on both sides two sections and it comes with a big mirror as well which i actually did use um stands up so it's quite nice to be able to do makeup in there some products i'm obviously just going to take my usual favorites i might not have a miniature version of but these were the things um the last time i traveled that um stuck out in my mind so a lot of these are from milk makeup i did do a video a full face of milk if you want to watch that i will link it for you um and i had just kind of started dabbling in them before i went on this trip so let's let's look so this first one is the um hydrating oil can you even see it so as soon as I washed my face, I would apply this over my skin and it just gave me a really nice even base for makeup, um, especially considering my skin is usually more a bit more dry when I travel. This did a really good job of keeping me nice and um, hydrated, supple, greased. Oh, and the fact that it's a solid is really nice too because you just roll it on the surface, pat it in, use a little brush if you want to. Um, nice and quick and easy. As a primer, I just kind of use this on any areas that I have more obvious pores, but it's the Milani Instant Touch Up Blur Stick. This is a bit more of a blurring, smoothing one, so I again would just kind of swipe it over the area, pat it in, and then went in with either one of my base products. So the two I took both from Milk, one was the Sunshine and Skin Tint SPF 30. This is a very light tinted moisturizer with SPF in it. Um, so if I wanted like lighter skin days, I would use this. Um, and then if I wanted a bit more or maybe to use at night, I would either layer this on top or use this alone, which is the Milk Blur, oh no, it's not, Flex Foundation Stick. Again, super simple, easy to use, sleek packaging, not, um, not a massive container. And uh, the two of those serve me really well. So this is just a little bit more full coverage, obviously, but still very easy to blend out. For bronzer, um, and I also would use this kind of like just on the outer corner of my eyes if I didn't want to do a lot of makeup. I use the Milk um, Bronzer Stick. This is the mini one, just so you get the comparison. That's the full size mini baby. Um, and the shade I use is Baked. Again, stick product, not very messy, easy to blend, looks great on the skin. Um, hmm. And then for blush and highlight, the Kosas um, Color and Light Cream Duo. This is in the shade 8th Muse. I did stick my finger in it quite heavily, um, but I love the blush and the um, highlight too. They give you just really nice juicy cheeks and the blush is quite nice and pigmented. And I did use that on cheeks and lips sometimes. So I just like a product that you can kind of use however you want. Or even sometimes I would put this on basically bare skin. Um, my bare skin, not a bear's skin. Okay, setting. This is a little like setting brush thing. Um, this, this kind of product I would probably not use like day to day for a full application necessarily. It's just me, but these are the kind of things that I wanna use less often to try and keep them from getting all bacteria-y and gross. But when I travel, I want it to be easy to apply. So this is just a nice little setting powder from Ilia. You don't need a brush for it. There's already one on it. You just don't want to shake too much out and then apply because you're going to be, you're going to be in a bad place. Setting powder. Oh, and if you're not going to use um, a little brush one like this, I would recommend using a pressed setting powder um, just so it's less messy and e.l.f. have a really good inexpensive one. So I will link that for you. Setting spray. This is a tiny uh, Cover FX high performance setting spray. I love their setting sprays. I love that they have minis in a lot of their products. Um, and it's just nice to always have like your, your tried and true trusted favorite in tiny form. Okay, and then and the last couple things, both from Milk. One is the uh, Kush Waterproof Mascara in the mini size. Again, this is the uh, size comparison. <laughs> It's adorable. Makes my lashes look great, good separation, really dark, um, stays on really well. So again, nice to have something that you really love. And then uh, the Milk Makeup Kush Lip Balm. So nice and nourishing, has a little bit of color to it. I do think they have different uh, shade options available. It's quite sheer when you apply it. I already have lip product on, but it's minty too. 
So those are some of my makeup favorites. And then the other thing I wanted to mention that I travel with sometimes is the Salt New York um, Magnetic Palette. Currently, this just has my like lip and cheek colors in it. But what I like about these is you can fill them with whatever you want. There's also a little mirror on the side and everything is contained in one space. So you could, if you want to have cream bronzer, cream blush, which they do make, um, in here, you could have some eyeshadow options. You could have a brow powder op option if you wanted to, powders, creams, whatever you want. It's just nice to have it all in the same place. And in theory, you can keep most all of your products in there if they come in pans or if they are removable from the packaging. So it's beautiful. All right, guys, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed hearing a little bit about some of my travel favorites. Like I said, if I didn't, um, if I didn't mention anything or you have questions or need recommendations, let me know in the comments and I will do my best. These were just the things that kind of stuck out in my head when I was thinking of making this video. So um, please do give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Let me know what you would like to see next on my channel. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.